Hey guys, and yes, tonight is our Bible study. We'll be looking at, at something totally different about getting ourselves in a place where our step is ready to meet with God's desire and inclination for his will in our lives. And we're supposed to step into that. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. And I hope you join us. But for this week, we're dealing with those who are who have experienced significant loss. And we just want to share some things with them. Here what the book of John chapter 11 says. Verse 34 says, and he says, where have you laid him? They said unto him, come and see. And then Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, behold how he loved him. And, and verse 37 is the one I want to pick up this morning. And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind, of course, that even this man should not have died. And sometimes we have all of these rationale and reasons why it should not have happened and why it should not have gone the way it did and why it should and if we're if we're praying people we should stop it it is still appointed unto man once to die and after death to judgment and i want us to please appreciate that we're all going to die and every death is untimely unexpected and even though sometimes when they gave us a week and they gave us two weeks for life we st it's still unexpected let's not get into the discussion that makes this thing a competition if i were praying if i was fasting if i looked this way if i looked that way if i did this if i did that the inevitability of death is met with the choice of life. And so even as our external bodies are decaying and falling apart, there is still hope that the inner man is being renewed every day. We're all on a march to the grave and the significance of what we do is going to be told in the eyes and faces of those who mourn our passing. But in the process, we live today. And let's not blame anyone. Let's not go through that. If there is injustice, it will be dealt with. But let's not start to say, he should have, she should have, they should have. Let's mourn the loss, not blame the living.